Everyone can get angry, whether you're a kid or an adult, and sometimes that leads to arguments. Most of the time, it's just a normal part of family life. But what happens when the arguments don't stop and things become nasty, even violent? Well, that's when it becomes domestic abuse or domestic violence. It's when an adult deliberately hurts another grown-up, either a family member or someone else they know well. And it doesn't just have to be physically hurting someone. It can be emotional, like saying horrible things or threatening them and controlling what they can do. Women are much more likely to experience violence from a man than the other way around. In fact, scarily, it's pretty common. It happens to about one in three Australian women. And one in four Australian kids have seen domestic violence happen at home. Hi, Kiralee. Kiralee is a child psychologist who's worked with some of them. Kids who see this happening have a lot of trouble feeling really worried a lot of the time. They can feel really responsible and sometimes they feel really angry about what's happening. And this can have a really negative effect on what happens in their life. So if you're a kid in this situation, what would you say that they should be doing? To talk to somebody about it. So I'll go and talk to a teacher or school counsellor, kids helpline, talk to an adult to get some ideas about what you can do if it's happening at your house. What can kids just in general kind of do and, and learn to maybe help prevent stuff like domestic violence in the future? To make sure that we never hit or hurt or um, kick or throw things at somebody else, that we're never violent to other people. And if we can start this, if kids, if you can not be that way, then it means that maybe we can stop this happening in future generations. You pop those down there. The Australian government agrees that change could start with you guys. Okay. It says kids often grow up with stereotypes about what a girl or a boy should act like. Don't try like a girl, mate. That can lead to unfair treatment and disrespectful behaviour and can be the starting point for much worse later in life. That's why on White Ribbon Day, kids around Australia are showing they're willing to stand up and speak out against violence. If I could send a message to anyone, like any guy that was abusing women, I would probably tell them to stop and to think about how they would feel if they were in the woman's place. I think as men and boys we could speak out about domestic violence and tell people to stop being rude towards women and girls. Some kids around the country are decorating their school with symbols and learning about respectful relationships. White Ribbon Day is being kind to everyone and just being really nice and treat people the way you want to be treated and just don't insult people or be mean to anyone. I think White Ribbon Day means um, where you respect women and each other and not do, not think about the bad things and um, be respectful to others. Others are wearing white to raise money for the cause or holding marches in their community. While these guys are taking a White Ribbon pledge. I will stand up, speak out, and act to prevent men's violence against women. They say it's important for adults and kids to all do their bit to make Australia a safe, equal and respectful place for everyone. And women should have the same access to different jobs as men. I think it's important that kids in schools get involved in White Ribbon Day because then it will raise awareness around all of Australia and stop domestic um, abuse altogether. I think the best way to stop domestic violence in Australia is to teach kids at a young age that it's wrong. I think the best way to stop violence against women is in Australia is to get kids to pledge when they're younger to never be violent against a woman. I think the best way to stop domestic of youth in Australia is to have the whole community speak out about it so no one feels truly alone.